how to make a YouTube custom thumbnail tutorial in Canva. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a YouTube custom thumbnail that can get you a click-through rate of 18%. Yep, you heard that right. 18%. And this isn't on just a few impressions. This is on a video with over 1 million impressions. So if you're interested in getting more views by increasing your click-through rate using custom thumbnails, and we can do it all free within Canva, make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to share some secrets that are going to help you increase that click-through rate and get you more views. Let's get right into it. So the best thing about Canva is it's a free tool to use and I'll leave a link for you down below so that you can head across, create a free account and get started creating YouTube thumbnails really, really quickly. Once you've signed up for your free account, you'll be on the Canva homepage and all you need to do is search within their templates for YouTube thumbnail and you'll see they have a whole lot of options. You can select YouTube thumbnail. And the best part about Canva is they have so many amazing templates that can save you so much time. So you can grab a template that you like the look of and get started creating your YouTube thumbnail using the template. We've already started creating templates. And if you want access to our template, I'll leave a link for you down below. You can then open up our template and start working from there because we've got a whole lot of things inside of this template that are proven to work on YouTube and help you increase that click-through rate. So make sure you grab our template down below. So the elements within a custom thumbnail that we're going to create, we want a photo of your face. So we want to create that human connection. And then we want a nice bright color as the background so that your thumbnail pops out and catches people's attention. You've only got two or three seconds to capture their attention and to create intrigue with your thumbnail to make them want to actually click. So we want a nice bright color that's going to interest them and catch their eye. And then I want you to add text to your thumbnail and I want you to keep it to a maximum of three, maybe four words. The reason why we do this is your thumbnail is really small when people see it on their mobile phone. And if you have too much text there, it makes your text too small and people can't actually read what's going on. So keep it simple and just hit the main point of your video. So here for this example, we've got make YouTube thumbnails. I'm gonna create a new page and show you how we can get started creating a thumbnail from scratch. Now remember, there are all the templates that you can use and this will save you a lot of time. But just for this example, I'm going to get started showing you from scratch. So we're gonna start with the background color and we can head in here and choose a background color. I've got this blue that I really like and it stands out quite nicely. So we've got our background color. Now we need a photo. You can use some of the photos that Canva has, but you can upload your own photo. I would recommend taking a photo. Don't use a screenshot from your video. It's always terrible quality. Rather take a high resolution photo, and then you can use this image as the image for your thumbnail. We've taken a nice photo here, and we're going to edit the image. Now the free version of Canva is more than enough, but we on the pro version, and if you're interested in the pro version, I would really, really consider it because it saves so much time and it's got so many cool features and gives you access to so much more. One of the cool features is this background remover. So have a look at this. I just click on the background remover and it cuts my face out. And then it gives us that nice clean background, which helps your thumbnail stand out so much and look that much more professional. It does take a while to do this, but look at how well that does. Then we can head over here and resize our picture, drop it exactly where we want it. So I like putting the picture on the right hand side, and then we can have the text on the left hand side. So let's go and add some text now. And there are a whole lot of cool templates that you can use, or you can just use a basic heading. So we're gonna add a heading, and it's so easy to drag and drop and resize within Canva. We're gonna duplicate this text, resize it quickly, and then I'm going to add an element. Now the elements are really cool, so you can add YouTube elements or a brand. We're gonna add a Canva element because we want to talk about Canva. There's the Canva logo. Okay, so we're gonna drop the Canva logo in there and then resize it so it fits nicely. Now you'll see the background of the Canva color is clashing with my blue. So I'm gonna to have to change the color of my background so that it makes the Canva logo stand out better. 
that looks a bit better. And then what we want to do is put a background behind thumbnails, just like we've got this bright yellow thumbnail. So we're just going to grab this. And the great thing about Canva is you can just duplicate stuff and then use it and move it to exactly how you want it to go. Now positioning is really important. So you can see this is now in front of our text. So we just go to the position and we go backwards and it lines it up perfect. And look how much more that text stands out now. Let's do the same for the top text. Let's duplicate that. And what I like to do is do two different color backgrounds just to add a bit more and pull in other parts of the image. So let's use the color from our Canva logo as the background there and look how it just pulls it all together and then link it in if we make this text white. See how now it feels like those two were made for each other. And that's how simple and easy it is to create a YouTube thumbnail inside of Canva. If you have any questions about creating these YouTube thumbnails, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to help you out. If you enjoyed this video and it added value to you, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing because we create new videos every single week, helping you start and grow on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.